Hey guys, William with Create Studio, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to replace a character inside of your scenes in Create Studio Pro. All right, so let's take a look at my timeline, and I've already got four scenes laid out. So let's start with our first one, and that is our opener with Jack. I'm gonna double click in here, and you'll see that this is the animation that I have. It's got him working on the computer, and then he gives a thumbs up, and then he's back to the computer, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a different character and then choose similar character animations to kind of replicate what Jack's already doing. All right, so we're gonna go over here to our studio and then we're gonna go over to characters and we're gonna search up Hannah, all right? Now, once Hannah pops up, if you have not downloaded a character in general, there'll be a download icon here in the bottom right corner. Click that and when your assets are downloaded, you can then drag your character into your canvas there and now those assets are part of your session, right? All right, so I can select uh, Hannah's wave down here in the timeline and I can come over here and you'll see it opened up all the actions for her animations, right? So if I scroll down, I want to find the one of her working on a PC, right? So you can see how it changed it. And it's very similar to what Jack's doing already, right? So what I can do now is I can just go ahead and I can then come here and delete Jack, all right? So let's come up a little bit. Let's select Hannah and let's size her up, right? So I can just move her around in here. I can use my cursors to expand out her size there or make her a little smaller to kind of fit the room. All right, so, so far so good. Now what I can do is you can either expand this animation out so this will be the ex exact length of the thing that's playing there and then she's sitting there on the computer and then we can change the text here in a second. Let's go back to the main timeline here. I've got Hannah replaced and now it still says meet Jack. So the beauty of this is I can still click on my main uh, group, come over here and change Jack's name, right? to say Hannah's name, right? All right, so there you go. So now I've replaced Jack with this entire scene with Hannah and it's good to go. So nicely done. All right, so that's cool. So now let's move on to the next scene here. So now we've got an iPad swipe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and expand this and because I adjusted the time there, I'm just gonna go ahead and move these over a little bit so it doesn't bother us here. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit here and let's go inside of our iPad swipe. All right, so I've got my iPad swipe and all Jack's doing is he's swiping through and then it swipes here on the iPad and you see whatever transitions and cool images or video clips you would like to use for that iPad, right? So let's go ahead and replace Jack. All right, so let's go over here to our studio again. I'm back in Hannah, we've already got her in there. So let's drag her back into our canvas. And then what we can do is select wave and then we're gonna scroll through and find the, she doesn't have a standing swiping through an iPad, right? Or a tablet, I should say. So she does have a sitting and swiping tablet. So let's do something similar, right? So let's go ahead and select this. And then let's go ahead and delete Jack. All right, so we're good to go there. So she's gonna be sitting here and then she's going to swipe through. Now we're gonna have to move around and resize her a little bit and we're gonna have to add a chair or a stool, right, for her to sit on. So not a big deal, but let's go ahead and select her. Let's move her about right here and let's expand her up a little bit, about this big. And this is looking pretty good so far. All right, so what I wanna do now is I need to go search for a stool. So let's go ahead and go to back to our studio. Let's go to all, and let's delete Hannah there, and let's search up a stool. All right, and there is a stool for us to use, so I can drag this guy into our canvas and resize it so that it looks like it's about the same size as her, right? So she's already kind of in this sitting position. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag Hannah above the stool, right? So she's sitting on it. And let's do this, and then let's do this. All right, cool. So, so far so good. And let's bring that stool in just a little bit more. Let's move Hannah over a little bit. There we go. All right, cool. So now we've got Hannah standing there, and then she sits down, and then she pulls out a tablet and swipes through, all right? Pretty good, and I like that. I like the way that looks, but it's super simple, right? Super easy to replace a character. You can even add props, add chairs like I just did right there. Um, just to kind of make do with some of the animations don't line up like they do with other characters. You can kind of make do and even be more creative in a way, right? All right, so that is um, how you can replace Hannah on that iPad swipe right there, right? Um, and again, you can always replace the text and everything you need to when you're here, right? So I could be, you know, typing in Will, is cool, right? And so again, when I come over here, you'll see that it comes up and then there it is. And then it goes to the next page, right? So pretty cool way. Easily you can change your pictures, you can change titles, your text boxes, 
And just like I showed you right now, you can change your characters. All right, so let's move on to the next scene here. And we've got Jack at the computer and we wanna replace him with Hannah in a similar situation, right? So let's go ahead and open up uh, this group here. And you'll see that there is Jack's uh, working on PC back animation there, right? So he's typing away the computer and text is coming up on the computer screen. And now let's go ahead and replace Jack with Hannah. So let's go back to our studio and let's go back to search up Hannah if you're not there already and drag Hannah back into our canvas. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select Hannah, right? And then select her wave there in the timeline. And then I'm gonna go and scroll down her list of animations and find it where it says working on PC back. All right, so if I click on that, you'll see that there is Hannah sitting there at the computer, very similar um, to Jack's character, right? So now I can go ahead and just delete Jack's character altogether. Let's go ahead and adjust Hannah there and then move her back to the front. All right, so now that we've got Hannah Sitting there at the computer, I'll expand her animation out to be the length of the entire scene here. So now when you press play, she's there typing away at her laptop. A little different size of screen, so we'll have to adjust our screen size itself. But let's go ahead and make Hannah a little bit bigger so she fits the room a little bit more. And that is looking pretty good. All right, so far so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock Hannah's animation by right clicking on Hannah's animation and then clicking lock. That's just so it doesn't move or nothing gets in the way while I'm trying to manipulate the screen here. All right, so I'm gonna select screen, I'm gonna zoom in, and then I'm gonna drag this down and just resize it using my resizing uh, squares on the side there, just to get it roughly to a similar size as my screen. All right, so I like where that is so far. Let's go a little smaller there, and there we go. All right, so now using the distort effect, right, I'm gonna go ahead and Click on the distort effect right here. If I hover over it and you'll see in the right corner there, I'll click that. Now I can then just zoom in a little more and I can manipulate the corners to be right behind the screen there. So it looks like I'm making this work exactly like, uh, just like she's on the computer. All right, so let's move these over just a little bit more. And I think we're doing pretty good there. All right, so, so far so good. So let's go ahead and play this back and see what we like so far. So play it back. There you go, add your first title there. Just typing and then go on some more. All right, so that's how you can quickly replace that type of character inside of this little scene, right? Now, if I go back to the main timeline, I can then select on our main group on the computer and then I can then go ahead, swap out my text, change out the web browser color, um, change the background of this in general. So it's really quick and efficient ways to manipulate your scenes, hot swap characters, change text, and really make it fit whatever project needs that you have. All right, so let's go over here to our last and final example here of Jack. And what it is, is it's his animation and he's swiping through some cards, revealing some text as he goes along. All right, so let's go inside of this group and you'll see that here's the animation of Jack and then here is the text that is flying above those cards there as he swipes, right? All right, so let's go ahead and let's go to our studio and let's get to Hannah again and drag her into our canvas. All right, so with Hannah selected here, I'll select her wave. I'm gonna go over here and scroll down and find the holding a card animation, all right? So as you can see, there she is with her card, and then we can scroll down and we can delete Jack's animation now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag Hannah down too so she's below the text, so the text falls on top of her card. Uh, the one thing I note is when I first imported her animation is that her card is on the left side and we want it to be on the right. So if we go over here and select this button here, this will change the direction that Hannah is facing, right? Which is pretty cool. All right, so then I'm just gonna resize her so she fits our scene a little bit better. And then I'll move her over just a tad. And then so far, so good. All right, so then using, selecting this first text right, right above, right here, I can then drag this up so it fits right in top of our, um, our canvas there. And if I go over here, do the same thing. Let's select this one. Actually, we need to expand out Hannah there so she's the length of our animations going on. Select the second text box and let's just drag that guy up a little bit so it fits. And we can always resize this so it fits inside the box nicely. And then you can also do the same for the third one. Move it on up and then resize it there, All right? So, so far so good. Now you may have to make some tweaks so when she makes her actual her swipe down that the text animation falls with her actual card swipe, right? So for I'll show you this first example here. Let's zoom in so we can kind of see what's going on. And let's move this text over. All right, so we've got, we play it back, the text flies in, and then the text falls off before she pulls the card, right? So what I can do is I can kind of 
move this guy so that it kind of happens with the card, right? All right, so let's see if that's, there it goes, just like that. So you just gotta retime your text till it matches exactly where she swipes down, right? And then you can kind of pull your second text in there so that aligns when the next one comes up. Boom, there you go. And then you'll have to do the same for this one. Find out where that next spot is where she swipes, which is about right there, right? And we'll move this out of the way a little more. Right, let's just move this guy up. And then you can move this to be exactly where she swipes, which is about right there, okay? And there you go. And we're a little off, um, but we can find out where the card is there and then pull this back up to here. There we go. And that's how you do it. So now if I play it back, let's go back to the main group here. You'll see that I've got the card comes in, does a little swipe action, and then the second one comes in and then she'll swipe out from there, all right? So, so far so good. And that's how you can replace characters inside of your scenes in Create Studio Pro. Some really cool, exciting things you can do with already pre-made scenes and then changing characters out to kind of help make your projects even better and, and really push the boundaries of what you're trying to do. All right, so hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create, and I'll catch you on the next tutorial.